what kind of impact has Will Jones had on the defense? And what does he bring to the table? Um, I go against uh, Will every day in practice. So uh, he's one of the few guys that are like just the, just as fast, if not faster than myself. Uh, so he definitely brings speed, playmaking ability. As you can see, he made an interception last game and he blocked a, a, a punt as well. So big playmaking ability and speed to the defense. And also, it's, uh, I just got to ask you, it's rare that K-State's this big of an underdog. What, what kind of mentality do you guys need to bring on the field to fuel the fire against Oklahoma on Saturday? Um, we just, we were talking about this week, uh, detailing our assignments. Uh, we are underdog last year. So I think with a team like that, a lot of people are going to give us the underdog card, but we don't see ourselves as an underdog. We go into every game trying to win, and uh, we have a good game plan, but that's what we plan to do. Thank you so much, man. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, we'll go next with Kellis. Hey, Philip, tell me, what are your favorite memories from that upset against the Sooners last season? Um. I was actually hurt the first half of that game, and I and I glad I got to play the second half. I didn't think I was going to play, uh, but just like seeing us just do what we practiced all year and just uh, compete, and even though we were down early, uh, we came back, took the lead, extended the lead. I love seeing uh, my teammates succeed. Uh, my boy Josh Youngblood scored his first touchdown. Uh, I saw that. Uh, and then us winning the game, those were the highlights for me. Does it look like their defense has changed much uh, in the last year? Um, no, not really. Uh, they have the same offensive coordinator and stuff. I mean, defensive coordinator, so uh, they have the same kind of structure. Um, they don't play man against us. We expect man, we expect cover four, we expect uh, their nickel to be all over the place like normal. And uh, so we're just taking our game plan. Our coaches have a good game plan. We should be straight. And uh, how much does it help just the receiving position as a unit to, to get some guys back that weren't maybe able to play in the first week? Uh, that helps a lot. Um, just felt like we were um, just kind of incomplete at that position. But um, uh, it's going to be big to have everybody back this week. We can already tell it was our first practice uh, yesterday with everybody back. So um, making plays all over the place. So we're excited to see what everybody can do. Any other questions for Philip? Go ahead again, Kels. Yeah, I'll keep talking to him if you let me. Um, Philip, uh, Coach mentioned that Will Howard and Nick Ost took a lot more snaps than usual in practice last week. What was it like catching passes from those guys for a change? Um, I mean, uh, as coming in as a freshman, uh, I I would through with Nick. I caught with Nick a lot. Um, this off season, I got to get with Will a little bit more, of course, of course, Skyler. So it's nothing new. The only new person that I'm catching from is Will because he's a freshman coming in. But uh, I think they all throw well. And uh, I'm excited to see if they get opportunity to play. Uh, yeah, I think they all do well. And is there anything you can take away from last year's upset? that maybe you can learn from and, and use to your advantage again this time? Uh, I mean, just last year just kind of showed that, like, if we detail our work and do and do what the game plan is, then we can beat uh, any team, no matter what rankings are, how big of an underdog we are. If we go out there and compete and play how we know how to play, we can beat any team. So, yeah.